we have really been able to strengthen our economic and uh, commercial engagement, uh, uh, Your Excellency. Uh, this we have achieved through strong partnership with visits of uh, senior ministers, honorables. Honorable Deputy Prime Minister was in India a few months ago. Uh, several other key ministers uh, have visited. We have had exchange of business delegations. Uh, in last one year alone, uh, Your Excellency, we had a number of Indian diamond companies which have come in and they have established state-of-the-art facilities and very young Namibians are learning complex processing skills and generating employment. So I think uh, the, the, we have risen to the need of the times by responding to the economic challenges uh, and that I find very heartening, uh, Your Excellency. Well, congratulations. That's job. Economic diplomacy is working now. So that's what you have brought about and congratulations. We are very thankful for that. That's the way to go now. We are saying there was a time we were talking about supporting each other during the struggle, struggle to get our independence. Thereafter, now we must also now cooperate at equal levels to see that we can now exchange views at economic development. That's what is now, what the struggle is now about economic development. So I'm glad to hear we are also cooperating at that level. During his four-year posting in Namibia, the Indian diplomat has facilitated more than 1,000 business missions between the two countries. Particular interest has been in green hydrogen and other renewable energy sources. We find the opportunities endless. And if I can just give one example, in green hydrogen, where Namibia is really taking the lead to pursue it as a national development policy, uh, this entire premise is predicated on, on solar energy. And uh, last year, Your Excellency would be happy to know that in India, we were able to install 14,000 megawatts of solar energy. So, mm -hmm. you know, we have achieved certain expertise and, and we see that our, our concerns, our businesses, our enterprises, our entrepreneurs are talking to each other. But that is also supported, uh, Your Excellency, by a very good political engagement. And we have been able to get a number of agreements done in past few years, which were pending for quite some time. We have now also established a joint commission mechanism, which was not there till some time ago. And we hope that this will really uh, also support our people-to-people -people contact, uh, because uh, Excellency, that is, people are ultimately uh, you know, the drivers of all partnerships. So there has been a, a very good increase of number of students going to each other's universities. Uh, we are engaging in innovation and, and artificial intelligence at the Indian Namibia Center of Excellence at ICT. Uh, so, uh, and our outreach programs uh, in, 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 in yoga, for example, are drawing a large number of people. So it's a multi-dimensional partnership which, which is progressing very well. Very good, that's it, that's the way to go. Your universities are excellent. I'm, of course, a proud recipient of the honorary degree from New Delhi University in those days when I used to go there. So I know your scholars are good and business people too. And as you say, science is your area too. When you're in universities, we were having problems competing with you guys in mathematics. <laughs> so you have all those things I am very aware of your achievements, it's a big country. I met the Prime Minister already, maybe one, one, one two times already. And of course, when we were there for African summit, and also at the UN, that we met, had some discussions. There are many other friends that I have also from olden days that I am in touch with, so you're in touch. <laughs>